YouTube, what up? It's your boy, Young Wavy. Forever. So I came by to give y'all another talk session slash method that I've been using. You know, you know I've been combing a lot more lately. You know, in my everyday sessions, I feel as though I'm I'm combing a lot more. Uh, something I picked up, I guess, while doing this, you know, helps, I guess, position your waves a lot better. It helps uh, position your crown area. If you plan on, you know, moving your crown, changing your pattern, you know, you're thinking about you want to shrink down your crown, make it a lot smaller, you know, it does help. So, basically things you're gonna need you know brush obviously uh, preference is a softy uh, because that's like my finisher brush you know if you're working on your connections or you know just your overall pattern basically you know I, I, I choose to use a soft brush you know other thing you're gonna need is a comb remember you want to use a comb depending or determining by your length of hair you know smaller teeth comb or smaller comb is gonna you know tend to I guess what you want to say close your ways up a lot more instead of giving you that wider look uh, obviously a more spaced out teeth comb you just use this comb saying like we're using this as a small side and then this is a wider side obviously this side is going to open up your waves a lot more giving you a more wider look uh, so basically something I picked up on you know that I've been working on basically positioning my crown making it smaller uh, working on connections and stuff like that comb and brush combo so basically what I would do is Obviously, take the do-rag off, let my hair rise on its own, 5-10 minutes, you know, the routine, before I really do anything to my hair or touch it, brush it, put any products in or anything like that. Uh, first, what I'll do, comb the hair out with the grain of my pattern all the way around, even it out. Try to close my crown as much as possible with the comb all the way around. Working on my connections, you know, my pattern, making sure I'm staying within the same brushing angles that I use is the same way I try to use the comb or incorporate the comb when combing my hair. So it stays on a consistent basis, you know. After I do that, I'll take the brush, same thing, lightly go all the way around with the brush. Not much pressure is applied. I'm staying once again within my pattern within my brushing angles and how I brush my hair all the way around remember you don't want to focus on one side too much you want to keep everything even consistent so you know how many of the strokes you do on your right side say five ten strokes ten strokes ten strokes ten strokes ten strokes you can go around as much as you want as long as you keep that consistency you're not you know I don't tend to brush like 20 strokes here and 10 strokes in the back and then 20 strokes on my side again I keep everything even consistent all the way around so I just get an even look all the way around uh, another thing so basically you comb then you brush comb you brush I keep doing that like if I'm going in for a nice brushing session and I'm gonna use the comb I'll just do that I'll comb out with the grain of my pattern then I'll brush it down it's almost as if when we finish brushing we do rag to save our progress it's basically doing the same thing it's just I guess I don't know step before step after whatever the case is uh, so basically you're combing your hair and it's lifting your hair up off your scalp you know it's making it look a lot more puffy I guess uh, so once you do that with the comb it's like you're laying it back down with the brush you're not full compression as if it was a do-rag compression it's just you know the difference between combing it and brushing it so you're laying it down and saving that progress you've made with the comb and how you've gotten your crown down how small you've gotten it down you know 
how you've positioned your waves, your connections all the way around. You're just saving the progress, progress by brushing it lightly all the way around, even strokes. And then basically I would just keep continuing that until I'm done with that session. I'll just comb, I'll brush, comb, brush. Each time I'm trying to make, I guess, my crown area better, my uh, connection better, my overall pattern better. So basically it's just enhancing the look of your crown, connection, and your overall pattern. So comb, brush it down, comb, brush it down. Now I'm not saying comb your top and then brush your top, comb your right and brush No, comb your entire head all the way around and then brush your entire head all the way around. And then you follow up back with another comb session. The second time you comb is basically the progress you saved or whatever you've gained from your first comb, combing going around, you basically just want to try to make it better, you know. You know, I mean, it's but so much you can do. You know, you'll still be training your hair. You'll still be gaining progress. It's but so much. You're not going to do this in one shot. But it does help over time. You'll notice, you know, and that's what I do every now and then. You know, I comb and I brush. I add that to my, uh, I guess, my uh, routine. So it's a comb and brush method. Uh, you can try it out. I mean, I've seen great progress. You know, I've seen my crown get a lot smaller than what it was. So, you know, I'm bringing it to you. So, you could try it out. Give me some feedback if it's worked for you. If you've already been doing this, you know, and you've seen it's been working for you, give me your feedback. If you have any questions, comment, inbox me. You know, my followings are below. And I'm out. It's your boy. Young Wavy Forever